This is the 2019 Grady White 275 Freedom. And now let's go ahead and walk you up the side. And let's start here in the aft with these Yamaha 200s. Now keep in mind there's only 285 hours on this boat and this owner has the service up to date. And then you'll see the swim platform. And if I come over to the starboard side, your deep reach ladder. And then if we move a little bit forward, you'll see your cockpit door. And then if I lift up here, you've got your fresh water shower as you come in the boat. And then if I come down below, you're gonna see your dual battery switches. And then if I come to the other side of the entryway, you've got your plug for your battery charger as well as your engine flushes. And now stepping in, you'll see Grady provides a very large cockpit. And here's a view with the seating deployed and you'll see they just create a great cockpit conversation area. And if you look in the center, you'll see that's where a table sets up. And now if you're anchored at the beach and you'd like some more seating or a lounge, you can just come over to this button and out slides either additional seating or a giant lounge. And with one push of a button, the seating retracts. And with the hatches open, that gives us a good view of this huge insulated fish box. And then here you have your live well. And moving to the starboard side, you'll see rod storage as well as a teak and holly step. And then moving to the port side, you're gonna see your salt water wash down. You're gonna see storage as well as drink holders and a remote for the stereo for the cockpit. And I also just wanted to give you a shot of this. This is a aft sunshade in a canvas bag. And this is the bow cover as well as the cockpit cover. And then if we open up in front of the first mate, you'll see Grady White just does a fantastic job on providing a large pump out marine head. Uh, I love the finish of this head. I love the kind of the Tommy Bahama look, uh, but they do a great job on all the details as well as you'll see this owner stores the table that sets up in the bow and the cockpit. You'll see their storage and you'll see rod storage. And that brings us over to this very comfortable helm seat with a flip up bolster. And that brings us to our helm. And you'll see on the top there, you've got a Ritchie compass. You've got a beautiful textured dash. And then if I come down below, you're gonna see your huge Garmin colored touchscreen, your Icom VHF. Then over on the other side, you're gonna see your Yamaha display. Then you've got all your switches. You've got your trim tabs. And then if I come over to the other side, you've got your fusion remote control. And now let's go ahead and start her up. And if we go in the helm console, you'll see here it's lockable. And if I open up, you're gonna see the owner stores the tackle trays and the cutting board that came with the boat, as well as fenders, some canvas, some Coast Guard equipment, lines. And that brings us up to a very large bow. And here's a good view of the hatches open. And you'll see on the starboard side, just a huge fish box slash storage. And then on the port side, you're gonna see rod storage slash storage. And the thing I love about this is, that the, not only do the hatches stay up on gas assisted hinge, but they also have the cushions on them. You don't even have to remove the cushions. And then moving all the way forward, you'll see your road locker. Then you're gonna see your windlass controls and open up and access to your windlass. And that gives you a good view of this hard top from the bow. And now it's time of the video where I give a condition report and I name opportunities for the new owner to improve this boat. And let's start with condition. As you can see in the video, this is a very clean, low hour, 
Grady White 275 Freedom, and it shows like it. It all the vinyl is beautiful, the fiberglass is beautiful, the hull sides are beautiful. I just don't see anything that I would have to jump on and improve. Um, it is outfitted the way these should be outfitted. It, it has the full fishing package, the cruising package. You can increase the seating, decrease the seating. Uh, it's got the Isinglass, the covers, the table, the aft sunshade. I mean, it's just ready to go. In terms of opportunities for the new owner to improve this boat, I, I just don't see many opportunities here. It, uh, it shows extremely well. Uh, we keep it in a high and dry, so it's, it's tough to keep it even covered and in a high and dry. It's tough to keep it clean, so someone might want to plan to put a detail on it. It just seems ready for your family and ready to go fishing or cruising or whatever the weekend holds.